Classroom management you definitely need to try. Classroom management can be referred to as the wide variety of skills and techniques that teaches us to keep students organized, orderly, focused, attentive, on task, and academically productive during a class. The strategies and the instructional technique used by the teacher to manage student behavior and activities related to learning can also be termed as classroom management. To keep the students organized, orderly, focused and attentive, the teacher must create a set of expectations that will be used in the classroom environment. It includes routines rules and consequences. In managing the classroom, the teacher must develop some management techniques that will support the teacher's expectations. Managing Techniques Be prepared, the teacher must be prepared each time that he or she walks into the class. Enabling and attractive, the room must be enabled for the students to access some resources without teacher's support. It should have a wow factor. Something that will make the students want to be part of the class. Set classroom rules, students must be aware of the boundaries and expectation of the room by forming classroom rules. There must be a constant reminder of these rules and the enforcement of the consequences. Be fair, the teacher must ensure fairness when dealing with issues. What applies to one must apply to all. The teacher must not be seen to be one-sided when decisions are been made. Record Keeping Teacher must find a way of keeping good students' record to motivate them to be better and to also encourage another student to emulate them. Difficult Behavior Parent-Teacher Partnership Teacher must make sure that parents know what is going on, how often he is in trouble, and what trouble it was. Creating a bond with the parent makes them have confidence in the teacher. Use proximity to limit negative actions, when at all possible. Place the student nearest to you or stay within close proximity to him. Choose the best time to discipline, you can't win when you try to call out a student in front of his or her friends. Private talk session will be more appropriate. Try to find out what really happens, empathize with the student. The teacher should find out what is really going on. You can even get someone to talk to the student. Build on common ground. Teacher can find a way to relate to the student on common ground, it could be in sport, band, or sibling. The teacher can build on it and check if the root of the issue can be located. Never give up, no matter the behavior, the teacher should never give up on trying to reach the student. Do you want to teach English abroad? In conclusion, in order to teach effectively, we need classroom management skills. It has been observed that teachers who applied strong, consistency management and utilize organizational skills have classrooms that experience fewer discipline problems. If continuous minor problems are not addressed properly they will eventually turn into bigger, harder to control issues. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.